Peace of Christ to all. Uh, today uh, we will talk about uh, one of the proclaimed miracles in the Quran. And in the same time, you know, uh, I made many videos before, and Muslims they try to argue with with, with people, especially those who do not know Arabic. Uh, and they say to you, okay, as an example, the argument it was, uh, somebody came, you know sent me and asking me about the word kawkab in here, the one we see it in here, this word. The word kawkab, uh, in Arabic, if you ask any Arab guy, you ask him what the word kawkab, you know, he will say to you right away, kawkab means a plant. If we ask, if we ask an Arab guy, uh, if we want to write the planet Earth, what what we use, what we say, he will say kawkab al ard, kawkab al ard, you know. I can right now go to Yahoo and type kawkab uh, al ard, and I will find I will find tons of websites. And I can translate any of them, and they will come right away as the planet Earth. So they try to say that this translation here, for it's a correct one, it's a star, which is a false translation. But I'm not, anyway, I'm not going to waste my time with this, because I, I exposed it before. And they will say to you, okay, you know what? We admit, we admit, the world cocap can come as a planet, but in this case, it's coming as a star. Oh, oh, suddenly, suddenly they admit. Uh, okay, well. Uh, and they say to you uh, in, in, the, in the dictionary today, uh, the word kawkab is coming as a star, and a, uh, uh, as a star and as a planet, which means both. Uh, I have to say, yes, this is true. It can it, it show up uh, this way, but there is a reason for this. Why? Because simply it's in the Quran. The one who, you know, dictionaries, those dictionaries are not made before the Quran. Those are new dictionaries. We don't have really an old dictionaries before. Before is before 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 Islam exists, we don't have a dictionary at all. Nothing like nothing like this. You know, actually, all the science of uh, of Arabic language is, is is exists long after Islam. It's not even made by the Arab. You know, it's not even uh, or created by the Arab. You know, and this is the funny thing. Uh, like even the Arabic language don't you not, not you know. Uh, uh, you not to have those uh, valves and kasra and fatha and dhamma, which is changing the sound and make you and, and the and the dots used to be a plain language, have nothing, no dots, nothing, which is very hard to read, because it can be very confusing. So the Quran used to be very confusing, extremely confusing. But anyway, this is not our topic. So when they say to you, I can find you in the in the in the dictionary uh, today that the word uh, kawkab come as a planet and come as a star. Okay, I, I want to ask you that then. Why Allah is using a word is very confusing. Why he don't use a word? If this is true, that the word come as a planet and a star. Why he don't say to you that the word mean star? And he used the word star. Like, do we have in Arabic the word star? Absolutely. There's a chapter in the Quran. It's called the chapter of Najm, which means a chapter of star. Why he don't say Allah uh, Najm? Just say Najm. You know? Very, 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 uh, very easy. But... To, to show you that the word kawkab, it, it cannot be <clears throat> it cannot be a star for a very simple reason because simply the word next to it is duri you see the word in here this word duri which means reflecting this word in here is how to prove that Muslims are trying to fabricate because this word duri is description for the light of coca like when the muslim they say the light uh, it's a it's a they say they say it's a brilliant star brilliant star this is a translation w what is the word brilliant it is duri supposedly the fact the word duri it is a reflection light and let us prove that from their islamic interpretation so what the what the quran is saying as if it is as if it is as huh as if it is a shiny planet, not a shiny star. Because the word duri is coming from the word dur. Dur means pearls. You know, pearls? Pearls themselves, they don't, if you put them in the dark, they don't give light. If you put them under the light, they reflect light. So, kakao kabin duri. Let us show you uh, and expose the lies of those uh, weird uh, dummy. Now, I'm not going to use my own method to, 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 uh, uh, to expose the lies of Muslims, I will expose their lies 
uh, let us me I, I will I will make their lies expose their lies. What do you think about this? I'm not going to say any of my own. This is Ibn Kathir in front of you, and this is the interpretation of the verse we are talking about. You will see in here, this is the verse. Let us go down to the verse. Here we go. First of all, Muslims, they claim that they speak Arabic. The word ka'annaha means as if it is. As if it is. If we go and we read the verse in English, the translation of the verse in English as it is, you will see it says as if it is. As. It is not. As. Now, somebody will say to me, yeah, for sure it is as because this is a, a parable. It's not. Uh, it's not about something uh, for real. Uh, this is why it is. No, 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 no. In here, the description is not about Allah no more. It's about the light. The light of Allah, the parable of His light, is as if He is. There was. There were a niche from until, until now. Until now, this is about Allah the, before. Now the, the the after, as if it were. As if it's where is description of the light itself, as as as. So in here you will see that the word is coming here. Is saying that that can, uh, candle, that candle or that lamp. As if it is kaukabundari, as if it is what a planet. Now let us see why this is planet. Even in here the Ibn Kathir translation, the Muslim translation is false translation. This says, as if it were a star made of pearls. Thank you very much. As if it is kaukabun duri. So what the word duri mean? Pearls. Then why you are translating it as a shiny star, a brilliant star? Is that because Muslims are a bunch of liars? Because dur, which means pearls, are not shiny star. They are not even shiny at all. Pearls are not. They are not diamond. They are, and you know, and even all of those stones, they don't produce light from themselves. You have to put them under light to see they reflect. Actually, pearls are just white. They are not even shiny. They are not not a big deal. You know, you can go and search right now for the word pearls, and you will see that it's just a stone. It's a white stone. It's not a big deal. It's not even that much expensive. You can buy a necklace of, of pearls for 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 sixty bucks. So as if it is what, as if it is pearls, how the star is going to be like pearls, if it's a star. In the same time, they translate the word Duri as a brilliant star, but that will make contradiction. That will make you Muslims exposing yourself in a, in a, in a, in a way it is a planet. In the same time, you say it's a star. So in here, we have two contradictions in one, in one uh, sentence happen because of the Muslims lies. Because Muslims are trying to translate something is not exist there, making it something else. So the word dur proved to us that this is cannot be a star. This is must be a planet. And actually it's for your benefit because Muslims, if you say it's a brilliant star, when the fact it is a brilliant uh, uh, planet, that will be uh, an exposed to, to, uh, to, to the Quran. So it's for your benefit to say, uh, it's for your benefit to say it's a, it's a, uh, it's a cowcup, which is going to expose another lie later. We, you know, we can talk about. We, actually, I made tons of videos. You can so go and watch. So, sometimes the Muslims, if they want, they translate the word duri as a brilliant, and sometimes they translate it as it's prose. And you see in here, which means reflection. Read with me. You see it, which means reflection. Okay, well, uh, how you say it's a star, and you say to me it's reflection. Th this is very weird. There is a lot of dishonesty when Muslims they speak. So I'm I'm not using even my own answer, by the way, Muslims, to expose your lies. I'm showing you from your Islamic translation, your Islamic words, how I expose you. This is not my answer yet. This is not my answer. But I don't want to talk about this topic no more. It's boring. I want to show you another lie from the mouth of Muslims as long as we are speaking about light and star and moon. So let us go and see the following. One of the Muslims claim about miracles, which is exposed in my book, value number one, and I'm exposing hundreds of them, actually, a lot of them, in the value number two, which we are doing now proofreading, and I hope soon we will have it published. So you guys, you will laugh. You will get fat from laughing. For 
exposing those miracles. Anyway, just as an example, in here the Muslims, they are saying that the chapter 78, verse number 12 and 13, uh, and uh, chapter 71, verse number 15 and 16, is speaking about the differentiation, and they are showing you other uh, diff uh, the verses, chapter 86, verse number 3, saying that those are proving that Allah knows the difference between the light of the moon, that the light of the moon is reflection, and the light of the sun is uh, different. It's not reflection. How that happened? Let us watch together this video. And remember, the word in here we are going to focus in, it is the word Nur. Nur. Which exactly, which is exa exactly this word, you know, in here, let us uh, show it to you, Nur. Look how many times appear in this verse, chapter 24, verse number 35. This is the word Nurun, Nurun, Nur, Nur, Nur. Nur is the word they are saying. It's a word mean reflection light. And look at this disaster we will have and how easy to expose Muslim lies who claim to be scholars. The Arabic word for moon is Kamar, and its light is described as Munir or Nur, meaning borrowed light or a reflected light. Whereas this, the moon is described as a nur. Now, a nur means a light that is originating from another source. And of course, this is the correct understanding. But Thank you. So here we go. We have the, the big, big potato, uh, Zakir Naik, and we have this other potato. And both of them, by the way, don't speak Arabic even. So they are trying to teach us Arabic. We are the Arab. So uh, the word nur, mere reflection, which is a lie, by the way. So they are saying the word nur mean reflection. Ha uh ha. -huh. Okay, uh, just wait, wait, wait. The word nur mean reflection, and uh, uh, Zakir Naik he said it's a light which you borrow. Uh, correct or I'm I'm wrong. He said that right. So it's a it's a it's a, a, a light you borrow. Ha uh ha. -huh. So the word nur I want everybody to remember now. The word nur mean a light which you borrow. I want to play it again because I want to refresh your memory. Read with me, please. The moon is Kamar, and its light is described as Munir or Nur, meaning borrowed light or a reflected light. Whereas this, the moon is described as a Nur. Thank you very much. If we go to the verse in here, we will see that the Nur is a word used to describe the light of Allah. So the Muslim, they are saying to us that the light of Allah is borrowed light. Just to make a false miracle, in about the moonlight and the sunlight which is not even exist in the Quran and the Quran do not make any differentiation just to create a lie here we go they put themselves in a big hole and they say the word Nur and all we heard it all of you you heard it saying that the word Nur mean borrowed light and they are saying to us in here the verse saying Allah Nuru Samawati Wal Ard The same as his nur, the nur of who? The nur of Allah. But they told us that the nur, the word nur, mean borrowed light. So Allah borrowed a light. Ah, it might be the flashlight in his hand. Ah, he borrowed a flashlight maybe of somebody else. And this is the borrowed light Allah he have. Huh? Allah, Allah, is, Allah himself is nur. Look, look. Allah himself is nur. As long as you are saying to me that the word Nur is borrowed light. It's mean Allah himself is borrowed. He's not original. He himself is rented from somebody. What a joker is Muslims. When I say Muslims have no shame to lie, I mean it. And the more they lie, the more we laugh. And the more showing us that this religion have nothing, nothing real. And because why you have to lie anyway? How, why, why a religious person need to lie to, to promote his religion? Because this religion is disgusting, a satanic one. How dare you to make up a lie to make a miracle which doesn't exist?